there's a lot of operators that we can use with the combined framework. And in this mini series, I'm going to particularly have a look at transforming operators or at operators that help to transform values. So we're going to, in this first part, talk about map, compact map, tri map, decode. In the later part, I'm going to talk about nested publisher streams with map and switch to latest and flat map, because these are very special. And it's not just you change the type of the value you're passing in this operator, you're changing the flow of the stream itself because you're getting nested publisher streams. So that's why they're actually quite special. I will spend more time in the next part about flat map and switch to latest. So let's start now with an example to use map. I created a new product in Swift UI and the final version you can download from my GitHub. You can find the link in the description. If you don't like to work with Swift UI and you prefer UIKit, it's not a problem. You can easily use the same view models that I'm creating here in UIKit. Just like to have the whole combined code together with the front end, with the UI. So it's just nicer to see how it interacts and where the data flow is going. So we are going to load some JSON files from the bundle. So I did prepare some quotes files, which you can also get from the GitHub, just drop them in. So I'm creating here a group, which is resources. And I'm going to use this free quotes. So one of these files consists just of, it's one in each of these JSON files, there's one quote. So you see here the text and the offer. So now let's work on the view model and also on the data. So I have here another group, which is my quotes. So first I'm going to create a data model for this. So this is a new file, a Swift file. So I need to define my quote. This should also be codable because then I can easier work with the JSON. Then I use the same names as I had in the JSON file. So this one is the quote text. This is a string and the offer. This is also a string. So that's done. Then I need to fetch my quotes. So we are creating now a view model. So this is a Swift file and I'm calling this my quote fetcher. So I'm already, I already know that I'm using combine. So I'm importing combine. This is going to be a view model. So a class quote fetcher. Since I work in SwiftUI, I need to use observable object. I want to load these three files. So I need to know their names and I'm going to here just have a array with the file names. This is an array of string with the quote one. Code two and code three. And what I want to have is I want to load them in the initializer. Load files with combine. So I definitely need to keep my subscription somewhere. So I'm creating here in property, which is a set of any cancelables. And what I want to fetch, I need to store my quote somewhere. So I'm going to create here a property, which is quotes. And this is an array of quotes. And I'm starting with an empty one. Since I need to use this with my UI, I also in Swift UI, I need to here use it published. So now we have the um, file names that I need to use to load my quotes. And in order to do this, we're going to use all these operators. So we're going to try to see how these map, compact map, try map and decode come in handy. But in order to create here my stream, I need to have a publisher, somebody who's injecting these values, these file names into my stream. Since I already have here an array, I can easily create a sequence publisher. So my file name, you can do this by saying the arrays and ask for the publisher. And now I have here strings, but I need to have the URL. So I need to transform this somehow uh, from a string to a URL. And this is what we use with map. So I'm saying here map, I get the file name and I want to return here a URL. So we can get this because it's the file in the bundle from bundle dot main. 
dot url for resource with extension the resource is the file name that i have here and the extension because i said is a json file is json and now you see we get here an error telling me this is an optional what i'm trying to do here so i'm i'm here returning a optional url but maybe i don't really want to i don't want to have an optional my data stream and that's why they have a very easy way of unwrapping optionals so this is similar to if i have actually a value then i'm going to load it and if i don't have a file then i'm going to ignore it and that's why we can use here this compact map if you have a optional compact so i'm switching my map to a compact map so then i have now a file but i need to load it so we need to do some calculation action and we again try to use a map operator so now i have the url and i want to return a data and we can use the initializer for data contents of url but this is a throwing function so i definitely need to use here a chai data and now it's telling me the map operator here doesn't you cannot use a throwing function with this inside this map operator if it's this situation again i cannot just use a map again so i have to use here a try map so this is a try map so this is nice we're having here now finally a data but i like to have a quote so we need to decode this we could again using here a map with a json decoder but that's why i have here this list of these five operators maybe there's something more useful in there and it is because this decode works for us so i can say decode and now i have to similar to json decoder have to give here the decoder i want to use so this is a json decoder because i know i have a json file and what's the type and that's what we declare in our quote type so quote itself so now i have here my quotes passing through all of these values if you don't want to have the quote you could also now continue and transform this for example we have for map two different ones so you have this transform that we just that i showed you actually never really used it in the end but it's a good starting point to just say i'm using map you can also use here map with key path so for example if i only want to keep my quote text and ignore my authors i can do this so now it's only taking one property of the quote so i'm just going to comment this out because we still want to have our quotes and i need to put them here on this array if you try to do this assign to because there's one assigned to this is not going to work because we didn't deal with our errors so i need to use here sync and you see in the receive completion it tells me i might get a error so i'm going to now print this and we see a little bit how this works completion with I'm going to com just print this in case there is a problem then we get a quote so every time for all of these three file names one value is passed in my stream i'm getting the bundle the url i'm fetching the data i'm decoding this every time i manage to go to, to get generate this i receive my sync receives a value which i want to add to my quotes array so i'm going to tell my quotes array to append this new quote since this is a closure i have to use yourself don't want to create a reference cycle so i'm using an own self so this is basically it to load it the reason why i have here this hint is because i didn't keep my subscriptions so after my sync i'm telling to store this subscription in my subscriptions array this should now load our files in the initializer with all these nice transforming operators here but let's see if it's actually showing something how we use this together in the view so i'm creating here a new file this is a swift ui view this is my quotes view so i need to have here my view model and i'm using a state object var this is my 
quotes fetcher and I'm creating here a quotes fetcher. I'm changing the text to quotes, making this a font title. I want to have my quotes in a list. So I have a V stack. I see my title and I have here lists with this has too many initializers. It's a bit annoying. So the data is in my quotes fetcher, the quotes array. Don't use the one with the dollar because we don't need the binding here. The ID, um, because I didn't make this identifiable, is self. The selection and the children I don't need. because We don't have here a nested list. So for each of my quotes, I want to display here a row. So I want to have the author and the text together. So I need to have another stack inside. Just going to use a V stack. And the first thing I'm showing here is the quotes offer. And then this is quote dot quote text. And I need to make my quote here hashable. And because I used here for the ID self, I should have used here the quote text. So now I have here my three nice quotes. I can also do some formatting like alignment dot trailing and the offer is going to be bold. So this is working very nicely now. In order to load these quotes, we used here a um, data stream where we used quite a bit of these operators. So you see, you can really take one of these operators and put them after the other or compose them in a way that helps you a lot. And in case you have problems distinguishing for, between this try compact or try compact map is also there. You can just start always with map and then see how far you are going. So I added my quote view here to my uh, content view. And if you run it, you see this one uh, tab in my tab view controller, tab view without controller with my free quotes here in the list. This is actually quite a nice example to try to start using this different operators. In the next part of the series, I'm going to talk about nested publisher streams with combined latest and flat map. If you want to have a look, I put the link in the description box. If this was helpful, please leave a like. See you next time. Happy coding. <laughs>